Good morning and welcome to another one of my resort tours. Today we're going to be covering the Boardwalk Resort, also known as Boardwalk Inn Resort. Um, I'm super excited to be here today. We've stayed here once before and my family and I both really loved it. Um, we've been talking about coming back ever since. Really, really neat features about this resort are the accessibility to the parks. You have a walkway to Epcot and a walkway to Hollywood Studios. Very easy to get to and from both of those parks. They have a really fun pool here and the slide is to some I think is one of the best slides on Disney property so can't wait to get in there and show you guys we're gonna be starting on the inside um, lobby area we're gonna be making our way out to the pools and then we're gonna cover the whole boardwalk area um, that's where all the restaurants and they have plenty of performances um, so I'll go over all that with you, but um, yeah, looking forward to, to spend the day here and uh, let's get going. All right, so here's the front of the lobby. This is where you would drop your luggage off, check in. You get belt services to the right here. they will take care of any of your luggage needs. They're flying five flags right above the entrance here. American flag, we have the state of Florida flag, I think a DVC flag, I'm not sure what the other two are. So this is a DVC resort, but you can also stay here if you're not DVC. They have two different sections of the resort. Disney's Boardwalk Inn, showplace of the shore. There we go. So as you walk in the lobby, the first thing you notice is this chandelier up here. This has got to be one of the biggest chandeliers I've ever seen in my life. It is so big. And I'm not really sure what the theme is here. It's like a mermaid horse theme. It's a little odd, but... Definitely uh, makes a statement as you walk in here. And they have this carousel seating here with, of course, the carousel right on top. That's neat. And you have the DVC desk here. If you have any DVC questions, this is the place to come. Some more chandeliers here. This place is pretty nice. You got your guest services on this side as well as concierge. You have plenty of comfy seating while you wait for your rooms. Except for this one, this isn't looking so comfy. You have what appears to be a very frightening roller coaster. <laughs> and this thing is wood. So I don't know if you guys have been on a wood roller coaster, but they are creaky. It's a little unnerving. <laughs> Then you have a, a loop-de-doop here. That's not going to help with the scariness factor there. This is actually a picture of the roller coaster that we just saw. It's called the Flip Flap roller coaster, and it's located at Coney Island. We have some really creepy chairs here. And if you look on the back of them, they, they all have different names of the person who, who made the chair. This, this was made by Carrie. Oh, that's my wife's name. And here's the second one. And this was made by Kylie. This is actually a hotel located in or around Pony Island. So you're gonna see an elephant theme throughout the resort. And that explains why there's a jumbo elephant out there. So you can see the windows in there. Not a whole lot of windows. Looks like it would be a, a pretty dark hotel in there. All right, so right outside the lobby, you have this veranda. Really nice spot to come out and bring your coffee. Beautiful views of the lake. And I always like to try to find a really cozy spot that I would wanna just pass out. I know it's early in the video to, to be doing this, but this may be my spot right here. All right, guys, that's it for the video. I know. Way too early to be sleeping. Ooh, sorry about that, guys. Towards the end of the video, we're gonna actually go out here, and this is really where the magic is of the hotel, in my opinion. It is so nice out here. There's so many things to do, so many places to eat, so much entertainment, so can't wait to show you guys that. But for now, we're gonna head back in and uh, continue our inside journey. And right in the lobby, they have a rec activities board. Shows you all the fun things you can do here at the resort. They usually change this up on a monthly basis. Ooh, they have bingo. That's pretty cool. Monday at 3.30, the nightly campfires. And then, of course, movies under the stars, and I'll show you where they do that as well. So right next to the guest services, you have this seating area here with tables. Uh, it's a good place to, to eat. 
uh, you can grab a, a bite to eat down the hall here and, and uh, enjoy it here, right in the lobby. So this leads us to the next stop. So right off the lobby, you have Carousel Coffee. This is where you come, get your, your morning coffee, pastries, breakfast items. Most of it's grab and go. We have a pastry fridge here. This is all looking delicious right about now. Oh man, crunchy raspberry danish. Yes, please. And for healthier options, they have some fruit, yogurts. You can get ham and cheese croissants and then heat it up on your own, or I believe they have a microwave in here as well. Some drinks. And they have some more fruit in this corner, as well as some cereals. And right above is this really neat picture of the castle. And here's the menu. Specialty coffees, hot tea, hot cocoa, cordials and spirits. Have some liquors for your coffee. That'll get you going in the morning. Here's a featured beverage. Cinnamon bun frozen blended coffee. This looks really good. All right, you gotta stay hydrated in Florida. I'm gonna grab a water. And just note their hours of operation are 6.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. So they do close fairly early. All right, so here's Carousel Coffee. We're gonna head down the hallway here. You have your elevators here. I always like doing these tours because I notice way more than I do when I just stay here. This is interesting. What is this? Ah, huh, that's locked. A little balcony of some sort. And here's the pool. I'm gonna show you guys all this as well. This, the pool here is so much fun. So right outside of the elevator, they have this cool collage here. Looks like DVC members, and old, old photos. Very neat. All right, so it looks like down this hall, they have recycling and, and rubbish. Oh, looks like we have newlyweds here. It's a great spot for a honeymoon. I would say that's a great spot for a room too. Right next to the lobby, how convenient is that? I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm gonna stop here. Looks like they might be doing construction down there. So I'm gonna turn around, just head back to the lobby. And like all the other resorts, we have a digital display, which will give you all the information you're looking for. So let's go to the resort map. So this is it, it's a pretty big resort. It's very unassuming from the boardwalk side of things. Uh, all you see is storefronts but behind it is the resort and it is big. So it looks like they have the main pool here. They have another pool here, as well as right up there in that corner. What is this pool supposed to be shaped like? What do you guys think? Hmm. No idea. All right, so on the other side of the lobby, looks like they have an elevator to the boardwalk, as well as this is where you would enter the Bella View room. It's the lounge. A game room. Looks like they have a radio show broadcast from the 30s and 40s over here as well. Let's check that out. That's exciting. Wow, look at this piece. This is amazing. What is this thing? Cat in the bag. Can't really see because the lighting. One cent. <laughs> One cent. Looks like you would put the money in right here. And what do you get for one cent? Let's look in there. Oh, it's like a movie. Old school movie. Look at that, that's amazing. He's trying to get the money. Oh, what's in that bag? Looks like an animal's in that bag. Oh. oh, he got stung. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. They reunite. You see so many unique antiques at this resort. Random stuff. Looks like they have another antique over here, as well as the souvenir coin machines. Be healthier, electric, nerve and muscle massage. What the heck? 
So you hold on to this and you get electrified? Is that what happens? <laughs> yeah, this is where the telephones used to be, pay phones. And they have some water fountains here as well as a water bottle refilling station. And right next to the old phone booth, they have a cozy little nook here. A little quieter spot to sit down and eat your meal. The next spot we're gonna check out is the Bella View Lounge. It's not open till four. Um, here are some other dining options if you're looking for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. These are the restaurants that you can go to. So there's plenty of options around here to eat. And this is where we just came from. Right down the hall is Bella View Lounge. It's open concept. This is nice in here, cozy. All these nice comfy chairs and sofas. Neat. I really want to come here now. Grab a drink. This looks nice. Of course, they have some more antiques. They have an old radio. And you have another vintage radio here, Philco radio. This would be so cool if this just turned on right now. And another radio. And this one is actually working, guys. There's music coming out of this. Wow. That is so cool. It doesn't seem like the knobs are doing anything, but this area is, there's music coming out of this. How cool is that? This looks like a shoot some ladders type of game. The creepy face in the middle. All right, here's the menu for Bellevue Lounge. You have your cocktails. You have a featured cocktail, Orange Blossom Manhattan. That's looking really good. And they have featured spirits as well as some wines here. And here is a pretty extensive beer menu. It's a lot of beer choices here. And they also have non-alcoholic drinks, zero proof. All right, so I guess that's it for the menu. They don't have food here. Some, some lounges do, some don't. This is a really neat oil painting here. Uh, this is based on an actual boardwalk restaurant. Very neat, from the 1920s. All right, so there's the Bellevue Lounge. Looks like they have elevators here as well as in ice and vending machines. Right in here. And here you go. So you have the ice dispenser, you have your snacks, and then your drinks. And on the other side, this hallway is gonna lead you to more guest rooms. Interesting. Look at this. Huh, almost looks like someone's living room. All right, elevators are over there, Bellevue Lounge here. We're, you know, we're gonna head downstairs, see what they have down here. All right, so this is where the elevator would take you. Look at this, they have a whole wall of China. Great wall of China. Another quiet spot to sit. There's a lot of quiet spots to sit here, I've noticed. All right, so that's pretty much it for the inside. We are gonna Continue our journey on the outside now. Check out the grounds. Looks like the garden suites are this way, as well as the pool. It looks like each suite has their own little garden area out here. Neat. Man. Just gonna head over here. I think I saw an ice machine over here. Yeah, it looks like they have an ice machine right here in case you're looking for that. So if you're staying in a suite, that would be what you would use most likely. Come out here, grab a chair, have your own little space, outdoor space. I didn't realize all of this was back here. Wow, it's like a little neighborhood back here. It's like they have their own little lawn area over here. Oh man, I want to stay here someday. Looks like over there is the pool, so let's go check that out. Looks like you have the quiet pool over here. Just a couple people in there swimming around. We have a hot tub here. And jumbo checkers. So you get your towels here. They have some water fountains. You have your Coke machine. And 
through here are the bathrooms as well. Right next to the pool, we have this fountain. A little walkway, it circles around the fountain. It's a lot of circular walkways I've noticed. Just a good way to add some, some more steps to your morning walk, I guess. Let's head over here, see what's over here. I have stayed here, but haven't really explored. So I'm seeing a lot of new stuff today. This is fun. Okay, so it looks like this brings you back to the Bellevue Lounge, straight ahead there. So it looks like the garden suites are kind of like self-contained. There's no way to get out to the other side through this area. So we're gonna head back inside and uh, um, go out a different way. So we're at the back side of the lobby, outside. We're gonna head this way. This is where the pool is. We have the arcade in here. Check that out. So here's the recharge station. To play any of these games, you're gonna to need to buy a card and you're gonna be putting points on it. And then you would buy points and here are the prices. Not the biggest arcade I've seen, but they've packed a lot in here, that's for sure. Then across from the arcade are the bathrooms. And here's the running trail. Looks like a 0.8 mile loop. So here we have the Luna pool. Here's the slide. The slide is so much fun. And then they have a playground for the kids back there, as well as a splash pad area. Pool hours are 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. And here's the pool bar, leaping horse libations. And here's the menu, have hot dogs, sandwiches, bowls, salads, pizza, security board. And here's the kids' meals here. So the drinks at the pool bars are pretty standard here at Disney. Uh, here's the list. Here's some featured cocktails that I believe are the ones that are more specific to the resorts. Spicy watermelon spritz. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Roller coaster meltdown. There's sangria, wines, and here are your beers. There's that high lie again. It's pretty much everywhere. Pretty good though. And not alcoholics. So right next to the pool, they have this kids' shallow pool. Nice safe spot for them to swim. Don't have to worry too much. They have plenty of seating around it as well. And right behind they have a playground. They have caution tape up there right now, for whatever reason. It probably gets really hot. Yeah, this time of year it gets really hot, so. And then they have a little kitty playground here as well, so. Right behind the pool, you have tennis courts, community hall, and this walkway is where you would go to get to Hollywood Studios. All right, so first we're gonna check out the community hall. And this is also where the third pool is. This is a quiet pool. And this is where the fire pit is to have the campfires. You can roast marshmallows, make s'mores here. And nice view, the river. Then you have the swan and dolphin. I, I always forget how close it is. All right, so here's the third pool. Uh, their hours are seven to 11. I'm gonna check this out. This is where the community hall is as well. This is where you would get your towels. Well, they have a ping pong table here. Outdoor pool, this is cool. You don't see pool that much. Then of course your Connect Four. You can do movie returns right here. I wonder if they still give movies out. Huh. This is where they put on a lot of the rec activities and they have art projects that they do. And it looks like they have a TV area as well as a gaming station. Wow, look at this. Wow, four, four TV set up. Air hockey. There's some games here. 
Disney Jenga. I didn't even know they had that. And here's the pool. It's very quiet over here. Can't believe it. Not one person in it. We have outdoor chess. And it looks like they have a hot tub over here. Small hot tub. Very small, but very quiet. All right, here's the back side of the community hall. We're gonna head down this way. Check out these tennis courts. Looks like they're doing some renovation work here. So this is the path you would take to get to Hollywood Studios. I'm not gonna go that far. Just wanted to check out the tennis courts for you guys. Looks like there's two courts. Nobody here. All right, so behind me is the back side of the main lobby. Uh, we're on the, the turf right now. This is where they have like movies under the stars. Just another great spot for the kids to run around as well. Uh, there's, you know, little shady areas underneath the trees. Grab some shade, have a picnic out here. Such a great spot. And if you guys haven't rented Surrey Bikes, definitely check it out. It is so much fun. My family and I had such a ball riding these things around. And just so you guys know, you don't have to be staying here to rent a Surrey bike. Anybody can. Um, you just have to fill out some paperwork. It's a pretty simple process. It takes about 10 minutes. My family and I did it when we were staying at Saratoga Resort, and it was so much fun. Definitely a memorable experience. Um, yeah, so I would definitely check out that video that I posted. Um, if you just do a search for Saratoga Springs Resort Day, uh, that's one of the things we did. And we, a little, a little teaser, we actually were having a problem with the Surrey. The steering was a little faulty, so we actually um, rode the thing off, off the road, <laughs> off the path. So, And it was pouring rain out too, and that, was, that just added to the fun. And here are the prices. For a single bench Surrey, it's $30 per half hour, and then a double bench is $35 per hour, and you can fit three people per bench. If you have really small children, you can fit two of them right up front here. With the boardwalk, most of the shops, restaurants, everything is pretty much outside. Um, so you're gonna have to come out to the boardwalk area. Um, there's a strip and they have all sorts of activities, food, shops. First shop we're gonna show you is the Promenade Fine Art Gallery. And right off the bat, these paintings are popping. Wow, look at that. Wow, these are amazing. Oh man, I want these for my house. Wow. I love the frames too. The whole canvas is wavy, not just the frame. Interesting. They're actually selling these dolphins here. And they're selling them for half price off. They're trying to get them off the floor, apparently. And these are going for $90,000. They also have a fountain version of these as well in a box. But he said these are made out of bronze. And it goes through a chemical process to, to, to give it that look. But the only, the only thing that's painted is the eyes. Very neat. So I'm just going to give you a pan here. The views you get when enjoying the boardwalk. Um, this is the way you would go to get to Epcot, not a far walk. It's about, I would say about five minutes that way. Very easy. And a new addition to the boardwalk is the Cake and Bake Shop. Um, this is gonna be opening this summer, I believe. And they're gonna have mostly baked goods. And I even heard they're gonna have a champagne bar in there. So I'm looking forward to checking it all out when it opens. And they have a bunch of teaser pictures along this privacy wall. Really, uh, Gets you in the mood for the cake, doesn't it? Look at that, wow. And they're even gonna have chocolate waffles here. Look at these, chocolate waffles, such a good idea. And if you're looking for an ice cream fix, the Boardwalk Ice Cream Restaurant is a great spot to stop and get a couple scoops or Sunday. Really good ice cream here. And here are the hours. They open at three Monday through Friday and then 12 to 11 on Saturday and Sundays. So if you're looking for ice cream for breakfast, you're out of luck, guys, sorry. So this is the Promenade Pier. This is where you would pick up the boat. Uh, this side would take you to the Yacht Beach Club, Swan and Dolphin, and Hollywood Studios. And then th this side on the right 
is going to take you to Epcot. So very easy to get around by boat, by walking. Uh, very convenient here. Oh, they have an outdoor press penny machine. Right next to the lobby on the outside is Flying Fish. Some say this is one of the best restaurants in Disney property. I heard it's very good. Signature dining. So they're known for their seafood. It's supposed to be really good here. And they're currently closed. I just wanted to show you guys in here a little bit. Wow, this is looking fancy in here. I didn't realize how fancy it was. I've never been in here before. And it looks like they have a lounge on this side. And then next to the Flying Fish, they have Trattoria Al Forno. This is another fancy restaurant, Italian cuisine. Here's the menu for here. And it's looking like the prices are not too bad. And here's the inside of the restaurant. The hours are 5 to 10. And they also serve breakfast from 7.30 to 11.30. I think they serve wine here. What do you guys think? And here's the inside of the restaurant. I like the, the open kitchen concept. And they also have a pizza window outside here. If you want to get some pizza to go. And here's the price list. You can also get some beers out here too. And right across the way, they have some tables and chairs set up. Grab your pizza, eat it by the water. It's very lively out here at night as well. So much fun. They also have a bunch of performers out here in the evening. Um, when we stayed here, I'm not sure if they're still doing it, but they had a jump roping team and they would you know, jump rope and do all these crazy stunts with, with really fun music. So we were actually playing that music weeks after we stayed here because it was so catchy but yeah so much fun stuff to do they also had a magician everybody just sits down right on the boardwalk and, and enjoys the shows so it is so much fun here but you don't have to wait until night to get your margarita they have boardwalk joe's here and they have a bunch of different margaritas of course and here's some more of the drinks that you can get here and you can also get dole whip here as well as mickey shaped pretzel jalapeno stuffed pretzel nachos with cheese. And right next to Trattoria Al Forno is Abracadab Bar. This is the Magician's Lounge. It's supposed to have really good drinks here and curious concoctions. And their hours at 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. And you have the whole magician theme going on in here. You have all these props. It's so weird being in these restaurants when, when they're closed. Like they let you in, you can walk around, but they are so quiet. <laughs> then they have the Boardwalk Deli where you can get sandwiches. They have croissants in here, fresh baked. They also have coffee. Good place to come for breakfast and lunch. Um, I probably want to come here for dinner, unless you're looking for a light meal. And right behind the shrubbery is the future home of Blue Ribbon Corn Dogs. They have a location in Disneyland. So this is supposed to have really good corn dogs, gourmet style. I'm not a huge fan of corn dogs, but I may be converted once I try this one out. I don't know. All right, so next we're going to check out the Screen Door General Store. So this store is going to have merchandise as well as food. And their hours are 8.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. Some of the rooms have full kitchens. They have pretty big selection of frozen items here. Ice creams, Mickey Premium Bars, Lunchables, yogurts, milks. We have a lot here. You have your creamers, waters, Coke products, your beers, and fancy pastries. Look at these things. These are looking amazing. Wow. Mickey Rice Krispie Treats, got candy apples. I feel like I'm in Magic Kingdom right now. <laughs> you can also get frozen drinks here too. Wow, six different flavors. Apple juice flavor, oh, interesting. They have bulk candy option here. You can make your own bag of your favorite candies. Yeah, this reminds me of Main Street Bakery Company. This is amazing. And more candy here. This is where you can get basic condiments, pharmacy items. For resort specific merch, this is what they have. Looks like they have a bunch. You can get a cool beach bag, boardwalk beach bag here. It's neat. And look at this, they have a boardwalk lounge fly bag. How cool is this? 
And boardwalk pins. Boardwalk ears. These are cool tumblers. Look at these. And that's not all. They have a bunch more. Looks like they have abracadabar rocks glasses here. They have a shirt. That's cool. Some more boardwalk shirts. These are nice. Follow me to boardwalk. Boardwalk Christmas ornaments. Look at that. And they have a zippy, boardwalk zippy here. This is nice. Veneered vines. This looks comfy. Look at this. You can get an RC monorail. That's cool. You can even get a space crane claw machine from Toy Story. That is so cool. The claw. And they have a bunch of pins here. You can also do pin trading here as well. And they have a good selection of Hawaiian shirts. Look at this. These are nice. I like this one. This is a nice hat. What do you guys think? We have some fancy bags here. And some more bags here. These ones are Dooney and Burks. So this one has all the resorts on it. This one's neat. And they have some more down here. And just so you guys know, the screen door, general store, and Thimbles and Threads is all connected. Um, and Thimbles and Threads is, is the side that has all the merchandise. They even have a photo booth out here. You can pick out your novelty photos. They have all different types. And to go with that carnival theme, we have boardwalk hoop toss. Super fun thing, the kids love doing this. If you're looking for a quick bite to eat for lunch, they have Apps Food Truck. Looks like they have some yummy stuff. Some burgers, wraps, salads, quesadillas, man, I'm hungry now. They even have a special Apps Dog, 15 bucks. That looks delicious, I may have to get that for lunch. And here is the Jelly Rolls Bar. Supposed to be the, one of the top 10 bars in the country, believe it or not. Uh, super fun place. They have piano players that duel it out. Uh, they take music requests. It is locked, so I can't show you what it looks like in there. So here are the hours of operation. They're open nightly from 7 p.m. to 1.45 a.m. Ent entertainment starts at 8. Wow, so they're open late or early, however way you want to look at it. <laughs> and right at the end, they have Atlantic Dance. This is place where you can go get a drink, get some food, and sit down, and they have music videos that play. So, super fun place. Uh, it's usually pretty empty in there, so. This building here was formerly known as Big River Grill and Brewing Works. Uh, they are closed. I didn't know they closed. Uh, not surprising. I, we didn't really have a good experience in there when we ate. Uh, not very good. Beer was good, but the food was, was pretty, uh, pretty subpar. So, um, yeah, I'm curious to see what this is gonna be. All right, looks like the food truck just opened up. A fresh hoagie bun, fried hot dog, frank, shredded cheese, crushed potatoes, pineapple sauce, bacon, ketchup, mayo, pink sauce, mustard, garlic, cilantro sauce, and a little side of fries. Wow, <laughs> it's a lot in there. I may regret this. Oh man, look at this thing. This thing is humongous. Wow, there's a lot on there. This has got to be one of the biggest hot dogs I've, I've ever had in my life. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's actually quite good, and I haven't even got to the hot dog yet. Seriously, this is really good. It's a big dog. Wow, look at that thing. I never thought of putting bacon on a hot dog, but that's genius. This is so good. Oh, I bet. This is delicious, guys. You gotta get this. The only thing I'm not crazy about is the fries. I feel like they have to change out the oil. I'm getting some funky flavors in here, but they make all sorts of things there, like uh, empanadas, chorizos. So I think just some of the flavor is getting into the oil and screwing up the taste of the fries. But. All right, I gotta walk this off now. That concludes our tour of the Boardwalk Inn Resort. What an awesome resort this is. Plenty of food, can't beat the location. And going through the resort like I did today, um, I didn't realize half of the things were here. So I can't wait to come back again and, and take advantage of everything it has to offer. In addition to all the food options they have here at the resort, you have, you have the whole Epcot Park, stones throw away you have swan and dolphin and you can easily go to the international gateway jump on the skyliner and get to a bunch of other resorts as well so uh, you can't really go wrong with this resort so price wise it's around five to six hundred a night definitely worth the price in my opinion you get a lot and staying on disney property you're going to get the perks um, such as early entry to the parks and extended evening hours um, all that fun stuff so 
yeah, so that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoy the tour. Keep an eye out for the next tour. I'm going to be doing one real soon. And if you liked what you saw today, don't forget to like, subscribe. It helps us out a lot. We appreciate you. See you next time, guys.